super reliable, runs on fresh air. It's it a great does. summer cruiser. It's no Nick Delco. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <laughs> it's suspiciously good. And that caught fire. So today we are at number 187. Boy, it's a stressful one this week because, okay. you know, I have my children because of school holidays, you dads will relate. And Nick's had his children. I'm a part-time dad, so, you know. I'm a part-time dad, but like I still have them for like today and a chunk of time. Max is a responsible part-time dad. I've come up to pick up the CLK, which is ready to go on sale, which you will see come up this week at some point, and drop off my lovely 124 Black 040 Cabriolet. Now, I did touch upon this in a couple of videos back, so go back and check that one out. But I brought it up to Nick, because Nick does cool shit with Mercs, and he's gonna modify it, aren't you? Apparently, yeah. You mm. got a set of wheels for it, haven't you? Well, but you're supposed to be picking up next week. Oh, the way I was pretending to go to Norwich, yeah. Oh, you're not actually going to Norwich, are you? No, I am. I, I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, I'm going to Norwich. I was like, oh, really? And he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> I just like being enough. This car, I, I wouldn't say that we're going to go too far on it. It is literally just coilovers and a fucking, and, and a set of wheels. But the what wheels, engine is it? It's a 220. Oh. <laughs> oh. What an anticlimax. Oh. No, uh, super reliable, runs on fresh air. It's it a great does. summer cruiser. They we, do. We've both had one. So. They do, they do. And I, I, do, I remember the blue one that I had that was lush, and then you had a white one that was way more mm. lush, which you've probably seen if you follow the, cha uh, follow the channel or on Instagram more so which my friend still owns. I've still got some 205 40 18s, brand new, kicking, <laughs> up, kicking about somewhere up north. Yeah. <laughs> first things first, let's have a look at the, the CLK. Have a quick quick in update on that and what we've done, because it has been a bit of a pig, right? Uh, yeah, it's um, had a 202 CLK normal issue with this type of weather, Welsh weather, I might add. But uh, on this occasion, uh, the car's had a windscreen and the windscreen fitter left his Stanley blade in the scuttle, which then blocked the drainage for the scuttle. That had been a bad time and 500 litres of water, rainwater, got in the cabin. I thought it was a little leak and it wasn't. It was bone dry when I parked it up, but then when I went to move it, I was like, what the fuck is this? And uh, there was water everywhere. So thankfully, Nick found a problem. Yeah, it's uh, common. It's just like our winter checks when we run these dailies and stuff like that. It's, yeah, it's something you've got to check all the time drainage holes because it fills up, goes into the uh, blower motor fans and then washes down the back under your carpets. And until it's swimming, you don't know that you could basically store dolphins in your footwells. And, and then it's too late. The carpets are like massively thick as well. So like when I got in, I was like, oh, there's a little bit of water down there. It was not a little, it was a lot. Oh, and liters, liters. It was like, it was Well, bad. Jake that works for us uh, had a similar problem and the water was sat on his blower motor and that caught fire. So what we're trying to say is check, check your drainage. Check your drainage, peeps. It's basically, if you have a dirty car, this will be a problem. You clean it all the time, your drainage will always stay lovely. Exactly, there we are, there we are. And these cars are old, so that's what they suffer from. But now we have a low mileage, super low, CLK, that looks boss and it's coming your way for the summertime. On to the next car. So I bought this a while back. Sean was going up to London. It, watch the last video, it, it explains all. I was gonna buy a custom set of wheels for it, but the irony was, the guy was like, oh, they're gonna take six weeks. And I was like, no, I can't wait that long. Turns out the car's been sitting for two months anyway, and I should have just bought them. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. What a fucking idiot. What I've done instead is we've got, I was gonna go for 18s, we've gone for 17s, we've gone for OZ. Is it Futuras or Futuras? It depends on your accent, really. And we have different accents. So I'd say Futuras. And like I say future, Futura. But um, as will be fair, I can't read. So it could And be I can't spell. <laughs> so, so good day. So what do you think? Nice. Are we putting ambers in it? Because that's a must on the front. Okay, ambers it is. Got them in stock as well. What a shock. Have you? <laughs> that's are, we right putting, now. are we putting ambers in it? Yeah, well, I can sell them to you. That's 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 like what what real life it's pusher men do. When it's just like you look at yourself in the mirror, isn't it? It's like, oh my god, I'm being hustled. What the hell is this? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There's like this and that as well. I mean, uh, color coding rubber. 
good one. The problem is, right, these cars w went through a stage that's not been worth a lot of money. So, like, we've covered this before, haven't we? Where these were not worth a huge amount of money. Now, all of a sudden, the value is starting to come back into them. And then people like us get our hands on them and modify them. And then there's a special type of person that wants to buy this sort of stuff. Black with cream is what everyone wanted. Yeah. And loads of CEs like this that everyone wants that sort of combo. Yeah, but I mean, like, ultimately, black on black would have been the best. Oh, uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. But I mean, this mint, and like, even looking at it, I think it's your clean up nice. Oh, no, well, mm. I, like, the, the folder that came with this car is huge. And what we try and do is get the best car we possibly can to do all the work to it. So we don't want to buy, like, a piece of shit and then start doing work. We just want stuff that's, like, a very, very good car that just needs little bits to make it really, really right. It's so, like moldy Easter eggs in there. It does. It does because it's been sat for like nearly four months. Does the roof work? Mm -hmm. Roof works. Oh, yeah. well, when it's in here now, we'll have the roof down to air, air, air it out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty clean, actually. It is a clean car, isn't it? We'll do um, the iconic wiring harness inspection, shall oh, we? Oh, God. I think the wiring harness has been done, though. It actually looks good. Yeah? I'll be honest. I lied. I know. Go in there. It's going. So, a couple hundred quid. It's going to Bulgaria. We sent uh, the, the coupe that we got for sale at the moment, we sent the loom out to Bulgaria. He turned around within a week. So, whenever you park it in here, just yank it and I'll send it off to him or whatever it is we get it done. So, that's another one to the list now. What next? Thank you. Uh, have you bought collars for this? Yeah. Left him in the shop there. Oh, well, crack on with that straight away then. <laughs> I just realised why you didn't do the spin on this one quickly. Why? Because the rear shocks are a bastard to do. Are they? Yeah. I yeah, because it's like 50 million bolts holding a metal firewall behind the closing panel on oh. this. And you've got to take that off to get to the top mounts on the rear shocks because they're about, you know, here somewhere in the car. But the boot is here. So do you know when you pay a lot of money for the car that I sell, you think, oh my God, that's overpriced. You're paying that because I have to pay him. <laughs> <laughs> Coilovers, wheels, and I think we're gonna have to do a bit of paint, don't we? That's a no for sure. That's a definite no. That's a um, serious lacquer shrinkage, that is. Mm, not good. You see, I don't, it's, I don't know whether it's a, an actually a Merc thing, because I see, I see quite a few of these that are like this, where it's like mad crazing. Mm. I don't know. I don't Silvers, I've seen a lot like that as well. Really? I yeah. mean, I mean, it's really weird that it's only the boot lid. I mean, like, so someone's clearly just done the boot lid. I, I don't know. No, I don't know. I've, I've had one before where it was factory, factory oh. paint. Really? And it was exactly the same crazing like that. That definitely needs to be done. Um, what do you think? That's, do you think that's factory paint? It's not, is it? Oh my god, there's, uh, no, there's no overspray. No, it might be. Someone masked it tidy if that is the case, but in general. Mm. Well, I'll confirm that when we, when the. Take it back. When the DA over it. No, there's, there's actually little spots of silicone in it. Oh, so it's not that. So it has been painted then before. Okay, so we'll do that. Also, another really weird problem with it. Do the headlining inside on the roof. It's like sagging. And I can clip it in, but it comes straight back out. Do you, know when you, do you know when you push it up? Push it up. Because it clips into place, doesn't it? Oh, I've never actually taken them down. Yeah, but I think they come off in the front there. I, I think I could do that. I think I could do that problem. That's no problem. But yeah, it's 122,000. You like this, don't you? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? And it's a really well looked after thing. I it? think we should just have a really big bill on this and then sell it for lots of money because I actually think um, this has got potential to be a really nice car. I think so too. What's it like underneath? Like lovely. Like it is actually lovely. Am I going to take your word for it, or am I going to get my bad knee on the floor? But I don't think it's bad. Like honestly, what, I my knee or the car? Both. Uh, <laughs> oh, do you want my honest answer? Go on. It's lovely. Ah, <laughs> win! Because I genuinely thought he's going to fucking go. Oh my god, it's missing silk. But you know what? I got one of those in stock. <laughs> no, I, I've got half a silk in stock at the moment. Actually, it's actually really nice. Yeah. And the, um, like, you've got the 
the strengthening bits on the floor, which the torsion bars fall to, yeah. they normally go a little bit as well. Huh. Whilst we're looking for rust. Yeah. It's no Nick Delka. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Is it okay? No, it's really good. Shut up, is it really good? I was expecting something. I was expecting something. I but thought you said you wanted we're, to keep we're, this for yourself. We're halfway through the car. The no, 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 this is not the one. My one, there definitely was a problem under there. I know that's Daniel's problem. It's suspiciously good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're winning. So, this car is gonna be literally a few bits, a little bit of paint, it'd be immaculate, and it'd be ready for the summer and he's gonna get it back to me by next week, innit? And now we're gonna show you why he's not gonna get it back to you by next week, because we're gonna have a little walk around Mr. Nick Stubbs' new 187 home. <laughs>